Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lovely to have you joining us here in St Andrews as we focus today on James, the disciple, St James. Bob is going to preach about James and I am going to celebrate today. I hope you're enjoying this warm weather. We Brits struggle a bit when it gets above 20 degrees, but um, we're surviving and enjoying maybe a little bit more coolness this week. And so we share the peace together, the lovely gift that Jesus left before he went to be with his Father was the gift of peace. And so we meet in Christ's name. Let us share his peace. Peace be with each one of you, wherever you're watching. And so together on page one of our blue service books, we say the collect for purity. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Amen. Lord, have mercy. God is love and we are all God's children. There is no room for fear in love. We love because God loved us first. And so let us take a moment to confess our sins in penitence and faith. God, our Father, we confess to you and to our fellow members in the body of Christ that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry. Forgive us our sins and deliver us from the power of evil. For the sake of your Son, who died for us, Jesus Christ, our Lord. God, who is both power and love, forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. And so let us pray the collect for St. James. Merciful God, whose holy apostle St. James, leaving his father and all that he had, was obedient to the calling of your Son, Jesus Christ, and followed him even to death. Help us, forsaking the false attractions of the world, to be ready at all times to answer your call without delay. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so let us pray our prayers, our intercessions. O God, it is your will and desire to hold the world in a single peace. May the power of your compassionate love shine on the sorrows and fractures of the nations and the wounds of your people and so bring healing to our politics, healing to our neighbourhoods, healing to our families and healing to our hearts. As we come to you now, just as we are, to pray for your world, those in need, the church and for ourselves. Lord, today we pray for those places in the world that have hit the headlines. For Afghanistan, after the withdrawal of troops, where the Taliban have regained power, instilling fear into the people. 
for Germany, Belgium and the Netherlands, where many families have lost loved ones in catastrophic floods. We pray too for all those involved in the cleanup, still stunned by what has happened. For the nations who live with violence and conflict daily. For the hungry. And for those seeking a safe place to settle with their families after the trauma of war or ethnic cleansing and after all they have gone through in order to reach a safe haven. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our nation, holding before you those who are making decisions due to the impact of the pandemic on parts of our lives that we didn't expect. We pray for all critical workers, a new phrase, a new description, those trying to keep our supermarket shelves filled, for those involved in haulage and food production, for all health workers, for a free flowing supply of medicines, for those working in the caring professions within care homes or looking after people in their own homes, for our police and the ambulance services. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. In the words of our hymn that follows the sermon, we pray for those in need, aware that at times the needs of so many people seem overwhelming. May the broken be mended. The wounded healed, the desperate rescued, the empty filled, the guilty pardoned, the weary renewed. All gifts you offer to those who come to you just as they are. And we now take some time to pray for those who are on our hearts today those we know and love, and the circumstances that they are dealing with. May each one know that you welcome them with open arms, that they belong, they matter, and they are loved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church today, particularly here in the borders where Kelso Church is together, asking for your guidance and inspiration as we seek once again to become more involved with our community as restrictions are eased. We pray for the Scottish Episcopal Church, holding before you Mark our Primus, John our Bishop, and all those involved in many creative ways in ministry across Scotland. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for ourselves, Lord, a prayer by Saint Ignatius. O Christ Jesus, when all is darkness and we feel our weakness and helplessness, give us the sense of your presence, your love and your strength. Help us to have perfect trust in your protecting love and strengthening power so that nothing may frighten or worry us. For living close to you, we shall see your hand, your purpose and your will through and in all things. We pray these prayers in the all-powerful name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading today is a psalm, Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with songs of joy. Then said they among the nations, The Lord has great, do 
done great things for them. The Lord has indeed done great things for us, and therefore we rejoice. Restore again our fortunes, O Lord, as the river beds of the desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed, will come back with shouts of joy, bearing their sheaves with them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now Bob will read our gospel and will preach. <laughs> <laughs> 